Hey everybody, this is Derek from Peace Tech Lab. I'm going to show you a video about how to record video from your own desktop and share it with other people. Uh, this is a particularly useful skill if you have a presentation or there's something on your own machine, say for example, a tutorial, uh, that you want to share with other people and you need to do video capture from, you know, your desktop in order to make it happen. Um, the first step is to go to your browser and to look for a tool called Open Broadcaster Software. Uh, you can go to obsproject.com or simply type in OBS to Google and it'll be the first link that comes up. Click on this and you'll see the website for Open Broadcasting Studio. Now, OBS is a free and open source software for video recording and live streaming. You can do a bunch of different things. Uh, but for us, the, the main takeaway is that it is a free tool that is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Go ahead and click the download for the platform of your choice and install the file once it's finished. Now, in my case, I'm using OBS in order to record this video. So uh, this is the main OBS interface that you end up using. Dead center here, uh, where you have this screen section, is uh, the window that previews what your recording will look like. Uh, in my case, because I'm capturing my display, which basically I'm capturing my monitor, I have a video, which is of a video, which is of a video, which is of a video of my screen, down into infinity. Uh, but you can also capture other video sources. Say you have multiple displays, you can uh, capture uh, footage from there. Um, you can capture audio input from other sources. You can capture just from a browser. You can even just have an image uh, in front of the screen and, and uh, only worry about a single image instead of a moving video. In our case, you are most likely to just need display capture. Click on display capture, create new, and you'll have the option to select which display it is that you want to capture. In my case, I only have one screen, but if you have multiple monitors, you can select them from there. Okay, the other thing that you look out for is the mixer. These are audio sources for you to uh, incorporate in your video. Now, for the most part, uh, you'll just worry about one single channel for audio. That's your microphone. Um, you click on the gear, click on properties, and select your microphone. In my case, it's a blue snowball from the panel. But if you wanted to, you could also capture audio from your desktop. So this is useful if you have a presentation that includes a video or you need to play a sound file uh, and then discuss it as part of your uh, video lecture. Uh, again, you click on the gear, go to properties and select where uh, you want the audio file to come from. What is the audio source? Finally, uh, you worry about settings and make sure that you know where you're recording your video to. In my case, I'm going to drive Z, which is an external hard drive. You can make it go to the videos folder on your computer or to your desktop if you like. Uh, another useful tip is hotkeys. Uh, I use hotkeys to start recordings and end them using buttons on my keyboard as opposed to clicking any buttons on the video. And then finally, uh, to get started, all you need to do is click the button here, which ordinarily will say uh, start recording. When you're finished recording, you click stop recording, uh, and then the file will automatically export to the folder that you selected. From there, you can upload it to uh, a video editing service like WeVideo, or even upload it directly to YouTube for sharing. Uh, but that's all subject for another uh, tutorial. So thanks for watching and good luck.